and welcome to Kinski Red's channel with a bit of change of perspective today. You will notice that I am not driving the car while I am talking this time. Uh, I would like to take this moment to introduce my normal camera person uh, who is currently driving the car for us. This here is Miss Lemon Drop uh, Grey and now you should be able to see her properly. And then this, oh, oh okay, <laughs> and Miss Miss Indy, short for Indigo, is uh, our special guest today on this episode of Kinski. <laughs> so, today I, my topic for conversation is going to be something probably a little less uh, confrontational and a little more, um, more trivial. Uh, today we're going to talk about some fun facts about radiation that you probably didn't know. So the first thing I'd like to bring up with radiation is when people think of radiation, they usually think, oh, nuclear energy, nuclear bombs, big explosions and mushroom clouds and stuff like that. People dying and being mutated, and some of the mutation, uh, mutated people turning into creatures running around like Spider-Man, scampering around, crawling on walls, being all creepy-like. So, um, that isn't necessarily the type of radiation that can occur in nature on a regular basis that, that you run into on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, for example, uh, the, one of the things you eat, a banana, actually gives off a low uh, dose of radiation as you eat it. But you're not terrified of eating banana now, are you? It's got a very low level of radiation, low enough that you could eat as many bananas as you could and get sick off of it, but you wouldn't be sick from the radiation, you'd just be sick from eating too many bananas and you'd probably have to spend a, a while in the john trying to figure out what's wrong with your intestines. So. <laughs> So after, your, uh, after banana radiation, there's also the interesting idea that um, radiation can occur from people like redheads, like uh, Miss Kinsky Red here. Um, redheads generally give off a higher level of radiation than the... It's true! <laughs> you can see Miss Indy here is disbelieving this, but redheads give off a higher level of radiation than people of other hair colors. Now, I couldn't tell you exactly why, um, but I, and then I also can't tell you exactly why brick houses and ceramic dishes also give off a low level of radiation. Now, this is all very interesting stuff, but something you ought to keep in mind when, you talk, when I'm talking about radiation is that radiation can mean darn near anything. Um, in some cases, we get radiation for for example, every day from our star. Uh, radiation is just another way of saying energy is released. Um, so when you're when you're heating your um, your can of soup on your, your Campbell's can of soup on the stovetop, you're actually using a uh, heat radiation to warm up your chicken noodle soup and to enjoy it to uh, cure your cold that you've gotten. So radiation can occur in all sorts of different forms, and it isn't just uh, nuclear radiation. Granted, uh, nuclear radiation can be a very scary thought and uh, people can come into contact with it and get terrible skin burns, but that's not the radiation you're going to run into every day. So this has been a adept science moment from Kinski Red and from uh, our guest host, Miss Indigo, and our camera person, the guest host, our camera person, Lemon Drop Grey. So thank you for watching, and I hope to have a new episode up within the day, uh, the next day. Talk to you later.